Hello all you wonderful creatures, it is Ranger here, and I'm back with my new Amplified Hardcore Survival LP in Minecraft. So, if you didn't know what Hardcore in Minecraft is, basically it's when you're playing Minecraft, but it's on hard mode, and you only have one life, so that means when you die, well, it is all over for your sorry little soul. So, if you can tell, I have the shaders pack downloaded, and, um, this, ooh, we got the achievement, get taking inventory, oh, yeah, baby, um, it, it makes this land look extremely beautiful, like, I didn't even know this biome existed, like, I don't even, what, what is this block, what is this block right here, look, look at these shadows, it's so beautiful, oh, I don't get a block, I see, do I get you? red sand nice with this 1.7 and all that a whole bunch of uh you know like a whole bunch of just stuff just changed that i didn't even have any knowing about is it's crazy but yeah so as for goals for the series basically well one obviously not to die and two, um, it's not going to be like my other hardcore let's play, or well, that one wasn't hardcore, it was just hard. But it's not going to be like that where I'm going to be building stuff. Because basically, I only have one life in this world and I want to make it count. So, I'm going to be fighting the ender dragon, getting stuff to fight the ender dragon. And if I somehow survive that, I am going to get something to fight the wither so that will be quite an extravaganza we really got the shit when it came to the spawn points because basically these are two desolate biomes right here where there's no trees wait i think i saw planes off in the distance trees are you there trees i need trees we need wood Oof, food I am kind of, holy shnikes, I am running low on hunger, I did not even realize. That pig, pig, I, it's for a good cause. My God, I'm lagging really bad right now. Probably just because my computer sucks with Amplified. I can't even sprint anymore, holy shit. Um, get it, get it, die, pig, why can't I not click you? My mouse is freaking dying on me. Uh, die, die. Pick it, pick it. It's for a good cause. Feed the hunger. Thank you. Only one pork chop. Wow, that pig was so selfish. Oh my gosh. Um, I think I saw some trees off in the distance. Sheep, I will come back to slaughter you. Because well, I need a bed. And I don't want to die on the first night. So, yeah, that will be fun. Okay. Mr. Pig. Uh, no, I, oh, I can hardly sprint. Ooh, some coal. One thing I don't like about the shaders mod is basically it kind of makes the um, the caves darker because everything has shadows and stuff now. So basically I'm going to need quite a bit of torches just for your viewing experience. That is a really nice looking biome over there. Holy cup poly. And there's some really nice looking sand caves over there. Ooh, we're getting wood probably no ladies watching this so they can't be aroused by my getting woodness but you know what there's like light poking through this the wood and stuff that's actually really cool um the, the leaves are usually blowing so i don't know why they're not doing that oh yeah i also have optifine on this mod pack too so i can like zoom in and see see look there's a cave up there and Ooh, new goal, new goal. I forgot to tell you that guys about this. We're gonna build a sky base. I, I don't know if it will be in the one of the beginning episodes, but we are definitely building a sky base because that is just flipping fun. Like uh, yesterday, I was messing around on uh, Amplified World, and basically, I was just like pillaring all up the, up at top. It's so risky but fun, and it's so cool. And, I really need to get a better microphone. This one's, I don't know, it's a piece of crap, but I have the blue snowball, but if any of you guys know how to, like, 
muffle out background sounds with the blue snowball, it would be really, really appreciated because I spent 50 bucks on a new snowball that I can't even use because basically my laptop, it, it has a fan in the back and it, you guys know if you watch some of my videos, um, basically it just sounds like a f fan let's play, not even freaking uh, uh, let's play or whatever, so we're gonna make our first acacia wood planks these, I, I do not like the acacia wood planks to be honest with you they look too much like orange wool but I guess they work for now oh, we're lagged we are lagged man, I really need to get a new mouse because basically it takes me two clicks to mine stuff instead of one as it should but, I don't know I really need to get some food on the way, so I'm gonna make a sword first and slaughter some piggers. Sorry, piggies. Don't call Peta on me. He might. He. or Peta for you people who call it Peta. The P E T A, the Persons for um, Animals Treatment Rights or whatever the hell that is. Um, I don't know. My friend said Peta. Or, I was telling something, saying something about, like, going hunting or something. He's, or, no, I was talking about, like, eating meat at lunch. And he's like, he's like, quit eating the meat. I'm gonna call Peta on you, or Peta on you. I was like, what is he gonna do? Make me some freaking bread in the Hunger Games? Like, no. Okay. That was probably a pretty lame joke, but it was, it was funny at the time. We have fun at our lunch table at school. We, like... Our lunch table is basically like the weirdest pick of the bunch. It, it, oh, ooh, three pork chops. Thank you very much. Because basically we have like, we have five people that sit at my lunch table basically because there's five chairs. And we are like, I don't know, we're all really good friends. But it's, it's just kind of weird. Like our group. Okay, so here's basically... I'm not going to say out names or anything, but here's basically the group that sits at my lunch table. We have this super duper intelligent kid. Uh, he He's like really straight A student 4.0, that type of kid who's obsessed with Batman and superheroes, which is pretty cool. He's pretty cool. He's a really cool dude. He's been one of my best friends since like second grade. Um, next we have the girl who is like has a humongous crush on the super intelligent kid uh, and she's obsessed with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Sonic the Hedgehog and uh, what else is she obsessed with? I don't know. Oh Disney! Disney! Yeah, Disney. Next we have my other another person uh, he's He's one of my really good friends but there's one part of him that I really do not like. He? is a brony. <sighs> For some people who know me, I, I just really don't understand the point of bronies. I've tried watching My Little Pony, but it is, it's not really the type of show for me. I never really got the point of what it basically was about and why people enjoy watching it. And like, he's a He's like 15 years old, and I, I I don't know why he'd watch a show meant for little girls, but I, I don't know. That's that's just him. That's just him. Next, we have the... the I don't want to say dumb kid of the bunch, but basically the dumb kid of the bunch. Uh, he's... <laughs> He's he's really quiet, but when he does talk, it's, it's some of the most retarded shit you've ever heard come from somebody's mouth. And I'm sorry if I use the word retarded and it offends anybody, but I don't know. That's just the only way I can think of describing it. Ooh, we should better we better get to uh, the a shelter. Oh, here's a crafting bench. Okay. Um, yeah, but he's the kind of dumb one of the bunch. I mean, he's not, he's not like, he doesn't have like mental issues or whatever, but if you just, just saw him out in the public, you might think he actually has mental issues, but he's, he's cool. He's obsessed with corn and Care Bears. So, like I said, quite an odd bunch at the table. And then we have the super uber duber nerd at the table who's obsessed with Zelda and Lord of the Rings and base gets good grades in school and stuff. 
I wonder who that was. It's it's me. It's me, guys. If 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 you couldn't tell, I love the Lord of the Rings. I love Zelda games, and basically that's our lovely family of lunch table. It's I'm I'll have to tell you more about some of the really funny things that's happened at our lunch table. I uh, it's it's quite an enjoyable fifth period just for that. Uh, yeah, it's it's, it's really. I don't know, it's fun, it's fun. So, that's my little rambling. I mean, that's probably gonna happen a lot during this series because basically I have nothing to talk about except if you want me to actually commentate about Minecraft stuff, which is basically, um, just making a door here. Uh, having some fun, making some doors, trying not to s die in the world. In the world, I think I heard something. Okay, sh get back into our little hovel. We're gonna live like Frank Victor Frankenstein's monster. We're reading that in language arts, Frankenstein book by Mary Shelley. It's actually pretty good. N not even gonna lie, it's a uh, good read. Good read. Uh. I mean, it's complicated to read at times, but if you read it, you'd get my reference by saying, just in my hobble, like, Victor Frankenstein's, uh, monster, which we in the class named Ray J for some friggin- well, the reason is because there's a kid in that class who is in love with Kim Kardashian, and if you know, like, Ray J, he's like, I think, I think he's like a singer or something, but basically he had a, you know, sex tape with Kim Kardashian, so, I don't know, it's, it's weird, so, yeah, that's what we named the monster, just because in that class we were all tired of just calling him the monster, or Frankenstein's monster, or whatever, but, because, there's a misconception going on out, what, well, in the world, thinking that the uh, monster's name is Frankenstein, which, if you consider Victor Frankenstein, the Dr. Frankenstein, uh, the monster's father, then I guess his surname or last name would be Frankenstein, but, I don't know, his, he's actually never named in the, in the, uh, book, which, I don't know, it's cool, but we just decided to give him a name which happened to be Ray J because of that kid, but it's, it's, cool. it's cool, sorry about that guys, uh, I, I always get interruptions when I'm trying to make a video, but, uh, yeah, so I was talking about Frankenstein, I think, and, yeah, so, yep, 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 Frankenstein, good novel, good read, I'd recommend it, right now I'm actually just cooking stone right now, just because of the fact that I don't have a any coal, so I'm just making uh, that's my only source of light in here. And I'm gonna use up this pickaxe. I'm gonna make a bed and go to sleep and probably end the video right there. Um, it's the weekend right now, so I'm planning on recording about I don't know quite a few episodes of this, and then quite a few episodes of Ocarina of Time, and then yeah. So. Oh, we're we're out of light. Just burn more stone. I, I know I sh probably shouldn't be doing this, but because cobblestone is better than normal stone, just because of the fact it has better durability. And I don't I don't really know why I'm just mining. Well, I guess stone will be useful in the future. I'll, I don't know. This will probably just be my little base for at the moment before I find a good area to make a sky base. But. Yeah, I'm just gonna use up this pickaxe, which is basically dead by now. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, it's dead. So I'll make a bed for all of you who forget. This is how you make a bed. One, two, three wooden planks on the bottom. One, two, three wooden planks on the above that. And boom, chakalaka, bang, bang, bang. We have a bed. Place the L bed, and we'll go to sleep. So... I'm gonna end the video right here, so thank you all for watching. My voice is cracked there. That's what you get for trying to make a video while you're a 15-year-old teenage boy. So, it's all beautiful and sunny out, but I see a creeper. Or, oh, I hear skeletons. I'm, I'm just gonna stay in here, just to be safe. 
So, yeah, thank you all for watching, and please subscribe. I will see you all later. Take care.